Hi guys, Becca, the flawed mom, checking in from Missouri. These uh, videos are so simple. Um, this one is actually my daughter. She did all these records. Make beautiful wall art. <clears throat> Basically, you just paint whatever you would like on it. No prep needed other than to take the paper out of the center. <clears throat> like I said, my 14-year-old daughter did every single one of these. My favorite happens to be the Rolling Stones and the Dr. Seuss. Oh, I kind of like the pink clouds, too. In the next set of videos, you'll see a tree stump I found that I take and whittle. And I just take a few items that I have in my stashes uh, laying around and make a little gnome house out of it. I didn't really have a video other than where I was first cutting it. I had taken a lot of pictures where I had changed up things, you know, putting things together on it. Till I decided how I actually want it before I came up with a final outcome. Which is all I actually put here in the video. <laughs> Most of the items that I put into this uh, little project were Dollar Tree or Dollar Store items. I, um, <clears throat> the little rabbit's actually an eraser from Easter. I took a nail and scratched the word welcome into one of the rocks for the front door like a welcome mat and then I put it on a piece of board and covered it with some felt and called it good. This little project was a broken teacup and a broken fake succulent that I literally just put together. If you would like actual tutorials for some of these Please check out and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Thank you. I basically made a open bottom pin cushion, which is just fabric um, with some loose ties on the bottom stuffed with something. And that's what I put inside for the insert. I then cut a little hole in it and just stuck the succulent down in it. I did use hot glue to secure around the fabric after I got it in, that way it would stay. I also added just a little bit of super glue to the succulent stem. And by itself, it's not really the greatest looking thing, but add it with a little uh, something extra and it makes beautiful decor. I put it with my Easter eggs on a pedestal which I do have a tutorial for on um, my gift page on Facebook, if you're interested. The next few items are just things that I have made at my gift shop. Um, they're all pretty self-explanatory. I did use a stencil for the feathers on this one. I make the um, washcloth angels and other animals myself. Like I said, I have a small gift business that uh, I run here locally in Missouri. Nothing big, all out of my house. More to keep me from not being bored than anything. This was my Yoda. There was no tutorial for it. It took me four hours how to figure out how to make a Yoda. How to wash cloths. But he turned out really cute. The next item is actually just a Valentine basket I made. Um, but I did make the pencil sign. It is made out of a paint stir stick. Um, I literally just cut it to the shape of the pencil, colored it in, and there you go. Teacher sign. Now this next project you'll see was my very first custom order in which I made a um, decorative toolbox for a lady's husband. As you can see, I started with raw wood, painted it, drew onto it. Actually, I drew it, and then I carbon copied onto the board. You can see the paper drawing in the background there. I think it turned out really, really beautiful. I also custom made some accessories. This keychain is also made out of a paint stick handle, stirrer, paint stirrer. 
handle. <clears throat> and for his basket, I made a car washcloth toy. Personalized it with his name, added a few gift items, and his toolbox was ready to go. The next item I have coming up here is pretty self-explanatory. I used um, some pallet wood from out of my yard and just cut it down into force. Left it a little rough where it was faded. Looks awesome, I think, that way. I didn't want to make it look fresh. This little one is <laughs> really cute. Okay, so I got tired of everybody seeming stressed. I thought this would be a good, funny idea. Since I had plenty of Crown Royal bags, I thought I'd put them to good use. I bought like 50 last year for a project. 